Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. It is the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge Day. So we are going to do that. If you're not familiar with Marguerite Miller's Collage Challenge, it's a 52 week prompt challenge, meaning she gives you prompts um, for you to make a collage out of. So there's five prompts plus a bonus, so six prompts altogether if you decide to use all of them. You can substitute um, the bonus prompt for one of the other prompts if you want to do it that way too. So however you decide to do it. I will leave um, her YouTube channel, Marguerite Miller's YouTube channel, in the description box below this video. Um, there's a little arrow off to the right hand side right below the video. Or it kind of looks like an arrow or a little, I don't know, triangle pointing down. So anyway, you click there and my description box comes down with um, places where you can find me or find, you know, Marguerite Miller, for example. So yeah, just check that out. So we are on week, what is it? 33. Wow. I'm just, I'm skipping some. These are all past weeks. There is a video for every one of these. So if you're interested in seeing how any of these were done, they're in a playlist. Um, where you find my playlist <laughs> on my YouTube channel. All right, so there's 31, 32 was last week. That turned out pretty cute. So now we're on 33 and I just realized I forgot to grab my number 33. So let me grab my numbers and we'll see what we can find really quick first for a number and then we will go on to that. I'm sorry, I just spaced it until I, um, saw the number from last week and was like, oh my goodness, I need a number. So how y'all doing? I hope you're doing good. We're, we're doing good around here. Just ramping up for back to school. Uh, my daughter moves to her dorm on Thursday, so you may or may not see me at the end of the week. I'm trying to film enough videos ahead to, you know, have enough to cover the whole week, but <laughs> Sometimes I don't succeed in that, so we'll just see what comes. But I know you guys are awesome and usually, um, you know, fine with missing a day or something. But I will try to make that happen. So I could do like, oops, two different threes. That would work. That would be, that would be wacky. That'll go with our, or I could do these two because they're the same. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, this is going to be kind of a wacky one. I'm going to warn you now. <laughs> we're we're getting a, I'm getting a Halloween vibe off of it. But um, yeah, we'll see what you guys think. <laughs> the prompts, I don't know. Sometimes, I mean, these ones are fine. I actually pulled this one together pretty fast. It wasn't like super hard for me to um, find something because I decided to... Um, just sort of right off the bat do a little bit off the wall because of one of the prompts. So today we have, let me get my thing, a bug or insect. So I have a bee, a piece of lined paper or graph paper. So I have this old graph paper that I have. And then also um, there's line like lined paper here. This one's sort of a double player because it's also a sequence of numbers. Um, which is next, a sequence of numbers. So there's a sequence of numbers. And then I also have this just so that I've got, you know, one of everything, basically. Um, something rough, however you interpret that. So you can obviously go with the obvious, which would be a textural rough. But to me, this looks pretty rough. So this is apparently, um, I think it was Max Factors, uh, some sort of beauty thing where they would look for um, imperfections in the human female's face. <laughs> That's what this crazy thing is for. I was like, nobody's face is perfect. Absolutely nobody's. But anyway, whatever. Um, we're not symmetrical, even though it seems like we should be. So I just find this comical, but anyway, I, that's kind of why I'm using it. Okay. And then a piece of dictionary page, I pulled out a dictionary page with rough on it. I thought that was fitting and which all obviously probably have a different meaning than, you know, what I used it for. I didn't even check to see if it has the rough as in difficult because we've sort of just started saying that that's kind of a new way to refer to rough. Um, and then the bonus is a sticker. I have that little beetle. So without further ado, 
let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to use that um, dictionary page as my background. So I hope you're all well. And like I said, we're doing good. Just getting ready to go back to school, which is crazy. I cannot believe it. I'm just going to come up here, even though roof is down there. I, and I'm going to rip here and here. And I don't know how I'm going to do this. I think I want to make sure it's oriented this way. So maybe that there. This one's probably going to be pretty fast too, just because um, it just came together fast and I have an idea. So. And then I want this guy here, but I still need, see these pieces aren't very big that I chose. Could go kind of like that to make that other one stand out more. I'm trying to decide if I want to do something else in the background. I just, I'm not sure what. I don't have a whole lot of pieces left, but I am going to take this B and put it on his face. I know that. Um, that's a little rough too, right? And this sequence of numbers, and then our beetle, I think I'm going to put on her shoulder. So I still feel like I need something else on there as well. Maybe color would be good. So let's see. I'm thinking I might just use this piece of collage. Well, it's not collage. It's um, just pink, but it sort of has that feeling like collage that I used on those art dolls. I just think a piece of it might be kind of cool. I mean, it doesn't this it doesn't call for this, but we'll just use it because I got it right here handy. And again, if you didn't uh, watch my video um, yesterday and see how I do this, I just take the credit card and um, put paint on like a little palette, do this, rub it all over, you know, the different colors and clean it off in between so that I can kind of get some fairly clean marks. Let's turn off this side. Because I know there's some people, I think, that just watch my uh, collage videos. And then there's people that um, watch all my videos. So, yeah. That's why I went ahead and... Said that. So, it's going to be crazy when... Daughter moves out. That's just going to be so weird around here. I know it's weird for everybody. It's just, uh, not, I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> I know she's even been home a year longer than she could have. She could have gone last year. But last year on campus would have probably been a nightmare because they were mostly um, stuck in their rooms if they lived in the dorms. And, um, you know, they were doing online school. And she's sharing one dorm it's sort of like an apartment honestly is the way it's set up there's four bedrooms in there so they each have their own bedroom um which is nice so at least they can spend time to themselves type thing um so that's what she's gonna do so they're not all in one room but if you were stuck at the dorm all the time and couldn't really go do anything it would be it it Probably was not real fun. It was probably rough. <laughs> so, anyway. She um, is excited and she's got some stuff all gathered up. We keep trying to think of stuff that she'll need, you know. There's just always those random things. Toilet paper. Um, just, I mean, we obviously generally think of toilet paper. But you know what I'm saying. Just stuff that you're like, oh yeah, you're going to need that. <laughs> So anyways, been doing a lot of that. Oh, we got to go pick up this because you'll need that, you know. So anyways, that's what we've been doing. And then I got to take my son school shopping tomorrow. We were going to go last week, but he had to finish some 
um, classwork for to finish off his summer classes, but he's all done with those now, just in time to go back to school. <laughs> Poor guy. So, yeah. That's going to be kind of a tough year to go right back, but he won't have a whole, whole bunch of classes this year because he took a lot of them this summer because he thought he was going to be taking a lot more college classes, but because where he wants to go, they're not really going to take them. I'll turn this little. He um, decided there's, it, you know, that's just kind of pointless if they're not going to accept some of them, so. Or at least where we think he's going to go. It sounds like that's probably the case, but you just never know. Sometimes they change the mind. Which is fine. My daughter really only has this year and next year left. And she'll, be, she'll graduate. So that's amazing, too. That's because she had some classes done already. Thank you to all of you who have visited my um, new website. I so, so, so appreciate that because I can't tell you. It's terrifying when you move like that because um, you're just worried that, you know. I mean, of course, you guys are awesome. I don't mean you just totally ditch me, but you just get kind of trepidatious, you know. Like, is this a good idea or a bad idea? <laughs> Will I get the traffic? Will I, you know what I mean? You just do that. That's just, well, I do that. Maybe other people don't do that. <laughs> yes, worry wart is um, inscribed on my forehead. So, that is a thing for sure. Oh, I kind of almost covered up that is not very good. Covered up the rough. Okay, so I think I'll put that there. Those colors are my, I've got a Halloween Digi I'm working on that I'm using that. So it's kind of funny because, um, like I said, this has a Halloween vibe, so it kind of fits perfectly. Perfectly. cracked me up. Imperfections. It's like, uh-huh. <laughs> what on earth would that tell you? It's like, looks like it's practically sticking in her eyeballs. Oh my gosh, it's terrifying. I don't think I could just sit there with my eyes open and <laughs> have those things like practically in my eyes. It's awful. What price beauty? That's what my dad used to always say. I know that's, you know, an actual saying as well, but he used to say it a lot. So we got a few sequence of numbers. And then our big B, and this is out of Tim Holtz. Um, I can never, it's like field notes or something like that. So yeah, that's where that's from. I don't know why Jules is yelling. She's probably looking for Theron. Oh no, she's just turning around being a nutball. This doesn't want to stick. What are you doing, crazy girl? She's just being psycho. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> She's lost it. Lost it entirely. I know the feeling, Jules. Now she'll just scream at him for half an hour or something. I don't know why I want to be on his face, but I do, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I figured, look what he's doing to her face, so I might as well put a bee on his face. <laughs> okay, why not? Okay, and then I'm going to ink this little 
the beetle sticker. Probably should have chose a bigger sticker, but this is the one I chose, so I can't decide do I want it like where do I put it? It's like it's crawling up her jacket or something. Just to make it more rough. Okay, and then we need some stamping. Gosh, that one went really fast today. Sometimes they just go zoom, and other times it's just like, I don't know. I think I'm going to use some Tim Holtz paper on here, though, too, since we've got loads of time. We'll put more numbers, because you know me and my numbers. Do love them. Even though I am not a math person at all. They just look cool. <laughs> Can never get that big in there very good. Okay, so I want I want these numbers, but I do want the edge to be a little rough. Oh, I didn't even put on my little, what do I do with that? Isn't it? Literally and figuratively. Oh, where did that go? Did you guys see me do something with it? No, I dropped it. I'm gonna put this over here. Do I wanna be able to see rough? We should be able to see rough. Yeah, there's really n no at reference to that, but <laughs> that's how we use it now. That dictionary is too old. I guess you could also interpret it as the word rough. So, where am I going to put my 33? I want to be able to see it. I thought on here would be good. somewhere else. I don't know. Don't know. I'll do some stamping too. Maybe we'll spatter some paint too. So I can practice that. <laughs> if you watched my video yesterday, it was, it was bad. Spattering. Not my strong suit. I got it all over my desk, so you know, I did do that, but I see, okay, I'm kind of almost out, but I, I like to be close if I can. Put those there. Yeah, that's quite the contraption there. <laughs> it reminds me of my son. <laughs> he went to the eye doctor and um, the eye doctor's here, like, here, let me take out your contacts real quick and have a look. And Theron's like, oh, I'll take them out. And he's like, oh, no, I can do it. <laughs> he's trying to get Theron's contacts out. And Theron just bling, 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 bling. You know how you do, because you can't, you're like, no, you're not sticking your fingers in my eyes, you know? And finally, the guy's like, hmm, why don't you take him out? <laughs> it's like, yeah, he wasn't kidding when he was like, I'll take him out. Mm. Uh, kind of got that little wonky donkey there. Okay, and then I think we 
think I shall do is use my spill all. I kind of want to, do I want to circle it or do I want to, maybe I want to stamp on it instead. Let's see. I didn't get my 33 straight, but I never do, so that doesn't surprise me at all. I don't think that's going to work. Maybe if I do, like, turn it just a little. I don't know, just... Farron? Yeah? Can you give me a little bit of water? Please? <laughs> Such a brat. No. What do you need in I just need, like downstairs by the sink, there's that big mason jar. I just forgot to bring it up. Just put a little bit of water in the bottom, please, please. Sorry, I'm gonna circle it because I couldn't hardly see that. Thought I wanted to stop there, but it didn't, I didn't like it. Okay, so what else do we wanna stamp on there? Thanks, Jen. That's you. Love you. Can't do much on there with this because it won't show up. But that worked. I'm going to take and do my tiny brush and just get that stabilo all a little bit wet. If you don't know what stabilo all is, it's a pencil that was originally used to write like on China, stuff like that to price it. But it's water soluble, so it... um like, you know, runs really cool. It's it's just a very cool thing. I don't know. I love it. It's fun because you can kind of go out and get some of that color to go out. Grayscale kind of thing. Okay. Since I got it and I got ink or I got water, I'm gonna use it. Because it is fun, especially on old paper, it looks cool. That jar is big. I mean, that's what I told him to get, but I need a bigger one for this part. Sorry, I'm just looking for this one. It reminds me of like um, Ant-Man or, you know, some like 50s, 60s sort of movie or something, horror movie. <laughs> to drip it right there. I love the way old paper looks with the stable wall. That's somebody else's handwriting on there. Did a little on the B. I 
I always miss corners on that when I'm gluing. See if you just put like, can I get that um, look of like an ink splotch or something like that. Yeah, it really gives me that old horror movie vibe. They're just funny to watch now, but <laughs> they're so silly. Whoopsie. Emily's here. Sorry, I just want her to know because I don't want her friend stuck outside because she can't hear her. I can. Okay, I like that. I am still going to do a few stamps of some kind. Anything else or not? I feel like that 33 doesn't go, but I don't know what to do to, to make it go. It's uh, very 20s. No. No, I just messed that up. Okay. I think it's good. I think I'm done. All right. I hope you guys liked that. Sorry, that was another super quickie. It, um, let's do a little around here too. This is looking too new compared to everything else. Get a little of this on here and it'll... Sorry, that just... Are you there? Yeah, it just blipped out on me. I don't know. I didn't get very far though. Luckily I saw it right when it did it, so. Oh, why it does that randomly out of nowhere. It should be fine. I just deleted a bunch of stuff on it. Okay, there it is. So we have a bug or insect here a piece of lined paper or graph paper. We have lined paper and graph paper. A sequence of numbers. There's numbers all over, but it was kind of this one or, or these. Um, something rough. This is my picture. Um, and a piece of dictionary page and a sticker. So we got them all. They're all there. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's another uh, sort of weird, weird, wacky one. Definitely has a Halloween feel, I think. But uh, we're a little early for that yet, but there it is. So I hope you have a great evening, and we will chat again soon. Love you guys. Talk later. Bye.